So we just for the next couple of minutes, maybe um, we talk a little bit about what uh, topics you'll plan to cover in your course coming up here in Napa on October 27th and 28th about bringing a concept to market. Absolutely. So this is one of my most exciting things to do throughout the year. I only do it maybe once or twice a year. Um, and uh, the approach that we take on this concept to shelf um, is we take food entrepreneurs through the whole process. And, and the reason we do that is because every entrepreneur who walks in the door is at a different place in the process and might be um, hitting a hurdle and they want real expertise and real advice from people who can help them out. So from everything from consumer insights to funding to marketing to positioning, um, my approach is to bring in um, area experts that these entrepreneurs can actually sit down and talk to. This isn't a bunch of talking heads giving presentations. It's a hands-on way to have exposure to some really great people. So everybody from um, marketing people who are currently in a food uh, uh, company that are, is seeing really good growth, you'll be able to not only hear how they approach marketing, but then ask them how they might um, approach your marketing. We will be consumer insights. There are a lot of great new tools. How do you use them? How do you get insights that are actionable and not just follow trends? Um, how do you create IP and protect it? Talk about that. Um, but what you will find in this course is that most people who walk in come up with, they come in with an idea and somehow on the other end, it's a little bit different because it's just this hot house of two days of food expertise, talking about ideas, and they evolve, they grow, they blossom. And I've been doing this for a couple of years, and I still have some of the entrepreneurs who come back and say, look where, where we've made it. And then there are a lot, you know, there's a lot of roadkill out there too, right? People say, this is too hard, this is too difficult. Um, or, but those people tend not to have a great idea or they didn't evolve their idea once they came to the concept of shelf. So, um, you know, I'll, there's another big chunk of the course which you mentioned, which is just uh, supply chain and manufacturing, which tends to be that big mystery for a lot of food entrepreneurs. Um, and we have people who come in who are making food for food companies on a really large scale and you can tap their brain and then they also offer the resources and the tools that they use so um, it, it sort of includes all those with the very end of where we kind of started this conversation which is developing your sales pitch and your sales pitch could be one thing to a food manufacturer very different to investors and then very, very different when you're trying to get it into a retail channel. So we Fabulous. cover those things as well. Um, one question.